There are several ways that you can label parcel segments in Civil 3D. To start with, if you pick the area label at the center of the parcel, that brings up the context sensitive ribbon for that particular parcel. In our case, single family number 17. And if you go to the Add Labels button, you can select single segment or multiple segment. I'll pick multiple segment, and at the command line, it asks me to select the parcel by clicking on an area label. So I'm not selecting the lines that I want to label. Instead, I'm selecting the label at the center of the parcel. So I'll select that. And then at the command line, it asks me for a label direction, either clockwise or counterclockwise. I'll take clockwise, and I'll enter to end the command, and zoom in and look at these labels. And you can see here that we have line labels and curve labels on all the segments all the way around this parcel. I'll go ahead and change my annotation scale to 1 inch equals 30, and that will resize these labels according to that scale and make it a little bit easier for me to read. Now when we use the label commands through the context sensitive ribbon, Civil 3D automatically uses the default styles as are set up in the command settings under parcels on the settings tab of the tool space. But if you want more control over exactly which label styles you're using, we can go to the annotate tab of the ribbon on the labels and tables panel and pick add labels. That brings up the Add Labels dialog box, and we can pick the feature of Parcel. We could also label any other Civil 3D object with this same dialog box. But I'll just pick Parcel, and then we have our different label types. We'll select Multiple Segment, just like we used in the previous command on the ribbon. But the difference is we can also select the line label style and curve label style that we want to use. So I'll go ahead and take the defaults for now, but remember you can change these. So I'll pick Add, and at the command prompt it gives me the same options here to select the parcel by clicking the area label style. So I'll select this parcel and tell it to label it clockwise, and enter to finish. And here we can see all of the labels all the way around the parcel, and that each segment was automatically labeled at the midpoint of that segment. If you select one of those labels, you have two different grips. A square grip, which would let you drag the label to a new location, in which case the label uses the drag state for its display, and draws a leader back to its original location. If you want to reset that label, you just select it and pick the circular grip to reset the label. You can also select this diamond shaped grip to slide the label along the segment. And that way we can reposition it. If you want to have additional segment labels on the same line for some reason, maybe that line spans a sheet or for just any other reason that you need multiple labels, or you want to control exactly where that segment label is created, in the Add Labels dialog box, we can change the label type to Single Segment. You can again select the line and curve styles that you want to use, and pick Add. And this time at the command line, it says to select a point on the entity, rather than selecting the area label style at the center of the parcel. So I'll pick a point exactly where I want the label created, and we'll see the new label is placed there. This label, if I pick it, has the same grips. I could drag it to the drag state, reset it, or slide it. And also, on the context-sensitive ribbon for the label, I have different options like flipping the label, which will flip it from one side of the line to the other, or reversing the label. For example, this particular line was labeled Southeast. If I reverse the label, it's now labeled as Northwest. If I zoom back out and zoom into another area of the drawing, we can look at spanning labels. For instance, we have one long parcel line here, 
And if we label this with our standard parcel labels, for instance, I'll just pick single segment and add one in here and add another on this location. We can zoom in and see that the bearing is the same and we have the two different distances for this segment between this parcel and this segment. But maybe I want to show the entire length. I'll just erase these two labels and leave my label type set to single segment and under line label style I'm going to pick a different style and I'll use one of my span styles distance only. I'll click add and then pick that line and enter to end the command and currently it tells me this line is 179 feet long. If I pick that label and use the flip label command, you'll see the distance changes. It's showing 113, which is the distance from this line to this one. If I pick the label again and flip it back, the distance now spans the entire length from the end of that line to the next parcel line that intersects on that side of the line that is labeling. So we do have options to span parcel segments when we're labeling. Finally, if I wanted to add unique text to this one label, I could pick it, and there's a command called edit label text on the context sensitive ribbon. When I pick that, and then pick the text to edit, it brings up the text component editor that we're used to seeing when we edit label styles. However, this is an override just for this one label. So I could go in and add some additional text and I'll just type in span label, click OK, and you can see it added that particular text to this one label. If I use the same style and add that same label to another location, you'll see that it does not include that additional text. If I wanted to remove that override text, I can just pick the label and then use the clear label text command to remove that and take it back to its default display.